Today we're talking about how places that we've been in real life affect the settings in our books. I've been to, you know, all the spring break islands. Spain, England a few times, Italy, Hong Kong. I think that maybe I would have, you know, some cool foreign experiences and I would use some of those settings in writing. But it turns out pretty much all of my books take place in Maryland! This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. So I was born in Maryland. I've lived here my whole life. I go to University of Maryland. I'm, I'm very much a Maryland girl. And I think it's a cool setting, actually. I mean, obviously I use it because I'm comfortable with it, and because write what you know I think is great advice. I mean, sometimes it sucks, but I think it's great advice for details. You should be making up plots, and you should be making up characters, and you should be having a lot of, like, imaginative fun with those. But when it comes to the little things, I think some great advice is to go ahead and use stuff that you're familiar with, because it can really add realism and depth. That's one reason I use Maryland is because I'm comfortable with it. And a lot of times it doesn't matter. And Maryland is a pretty generic place. We have a lot of suburbs. We also have a really interesting division between uh, the conservatives in the south and the liberals in the north. It's like a little country all in one state, which is um, kind of awesome. Guess which part I'm from. Zombie Tag and Break I both imagine in uh, Maryland suburbs, but it never says anywhere in the books. Invincible Summer, it takes place on a Delaware beach, which is, you know, if you know Maryland, Delaware is like, you know, it's appendage. But that's never said in the book. I'm a big fan of reader response and making stuff up. So if you want to say that one of these stories is in the suburb of your state and that the beach is Maine or North Carolina or wherever your beach was, I'm completely okay with that. Go for it. In my mind, it's, it's Delaware. Two books that I've written where the setting is really important, and one of them is in Maryland. The animals were gone. Um, because it's based after real events that happened in Maryland, in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., the sniper shootings in 2002. The Magic Gay Fish book uh, takes place on some island. You get the feeling it's close to England, and that it's kind of in the England, Spain, Europe area. You know, Europe, as I like to call it. Basically, I don't do anything with setting, because I'm lazy. But I do know the first two lines to the University of Maryland fight song. Maryland, we're all behind you. Raise high the black and gold. And that is what I have to offer you on this Tuesday evening. Have a great night.